Welcome back guys, the second major update for Monster Hunter Wilds is now available on PC platform. It weighs around 6 GB in size, adds 2 additional monsters, include layered weapons. Now we can change the looks of any weapon while keeping the stats and abilities of another. Include some limited time contents. This update also improves the game's stability. DLSS 4 and FSR 4 are now supported for graphics upscaling. Adjusted the amount of VRAM used with texture streaming resulting in reduced overall VRAM usage, fixed an issue where the estimated VRAM usage in the display graphics settings was calculated lower than the actual value, fixed the issue of increased CPU load due to shader compilation occurring during gameplay, resulting in unstable performance until compilation is complete. Weapon balance adjustments are also a part of this update. It also includes many user interface UX improvements, improved sacred usability, improved map usability, improve skill information visibility, the ability to restock claim items. In this video, I'll be testing the game on my raw gala running on Windows 11 and Steam Deck running on SteamOS. I'll kick things off with raw gala. This game uses 10 Evo DRM on top of Capcom's own DRM. These DRMs can cause the game to stutter. I'll disable them using RE framework. Just download its latest build nightly from GitHub. I'll give its link in the description. Expand the assets section. Click on mhwilds.zip, upload it 3 weeks ago, open its archive file, copy this DLL file, de-input it, need to paste it in the game's install directory, select the game in your Steam library, right click, manage, click on browse local files, paste the DLL file here, upscaler is decoupled from frame generation, now we don't need to use OptiScaler mod to combine XCSS upscaler with FSR frame generation. Adrenaline settings for the game, free sync, free sync, and anti lag settings enable. I have set the UMA buffer size to 6 GB. My is running on BIOS version 341. Install Alice's latest official GPU driver that added support for Doom the Dark Ages. Using a 28 watts manual profile, all 3 power values set at 28 watts. CPU boost disabled. 720p resolution. Connected my FlyDG. Read a 4 Pro controller to allow a Bluetooth mode. Launch the game. You'll see RE Frameworks menu getting initialized at game launch. And just close it by clicking on the cross icon here. Cheaters will get compiled at startup. Wait for the process to complete. It'll take some time. In game settings, I'll set the preset to low, upscaler to XCSS version 1.3.1. First, I'll run the game without frame generation. Set it to disable using the upscaler's balance preset. Ray tracing off, of course, <laughs> otherwise, raw gala will explode. Other settings stick with the default preset here. Just disable a few post processing effects like motion blur, vignette effect, variable rate shading disabled as well, bloom off, jump into the game. Yeah, we are in inside a cave this is basically the lobby area fps is close to 30 lot of npcs here vram usage is close to 5.3 gb hitting the gp bottleneck audio is not stuttering okay i'll just leave the cave now venture into the open world i have started a quest call my sacred Alright. FPS is still close to 35, not below 30. Not impressed with the visuals. PS3 era. Okay, this is the open world, barren land. Lot of creatures around us. The yeah, FPS dropped to around 23. See. Disappointing performance even with the latest updates. I'll just run around this creature. Okay, let's enable FSR frame generation. <laughs> Can't pause the game, need to be quick here. That creature can attack me. I'll just set frame generation to AMD FSR. Resume the game. Yeah, FPS increased to around 45. <laughs> Look at that frame pacing graph, almost a flat line. 
yeah enabling frame generation helps in improving frame pacing latency it increase most of the while is not a very aim intensive game depending on the weapon that you are using I'm using dual blades just wield them forgot the controls my bad yeah even during combat the game is not stuttering it's just that the base of the you find the base fps is on the lower side close to 25 on rock ally in the open world no stutters at all make sure you install re framework it disables capcom's drm also disables tenuo look at the little creature in the background okay now i'll test the game on steam deck and this is the latest nightly build of re framework just download it from its github page i'll give its link in the description expand the asset section click on mhwilds.zip download will start open dolphin file explorer go to downloads here you'll find re framework zip file that you just downloaded i have transferred it to another directory does not matter just open this zip file we need to extract this dll file d input it drag and drop it outside of this archive window like this select the extracted file right click cut need to paste it in the games installed directory select the game in your steam library right click manage click on browse local files paste the dll file here now we need to add a launch argument to the game select the game in your steam library click on the settings cog here click on properties click on general under launch options at this line of text i'll provide in the description of the video you can copy it from there and paste it here we are ready to run the game i'll switch to steam os gaming mode i'm using g proton version 10-4 as the compatibility layer launch the game hari framework's menu is getting initialized it's the lcd variant of steam deck display supports up to 60 hz refresh rate performance gm settings only level set to 2 frame limit set to 60 while this uncapped fps enable disable frame limit and allow tearing settings will be enabling same generation on steam deck in game settings graphics preset set to lowest upscaler set to fsr frame generation disable using the upscaler's ultra performance preset it will make the image quality look very bad pixelated but it will help in reducing the gp load everything set to low lowest other settings stick with the default ones variable ray shading off i have already set the upscaler preset to ultra performance motion blur disable jump into the game there's a character inside the cave online lobby lot of npcs here FPS is close to 18 this is so disappointing game is hitting the gp bottleneck and this is when i have set the upscaler preset to ultra performance look at that image quality is so bad can literally count the individual pixels and just leave the cave venture into the open world expect the performance to tank you know further than this Twenty FPS, eighteen, fifteen FPS. Game is running like a slideshow. Game world is looking pixelated when I move the camera around. Eleven FPS. Oh my God! I'll just enable frame generation. Look at those ugly textures. Sprinkling effect. This game is almost five months old now. Performance is still terrible. Frame generation set to FSR. Back to the game, I can observe the end amount of smoothness, but look at that input delay. Oh my god! I get better latency than this when I use the Singapore-based server of GeForce Now from India. It's just insane. So bad. Yeah, I won't recommend playing this game on Steam Deck. If you really want to play it on this device, just use 
GeForce Now Cloud Stream Service. If you are from India, you can try using NVIDIA's Beg Your Pardon StarHub Singapore based server. You'll be getting a ping of around 80 milliseconds from here. That's it for the video, guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.